Okay, welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. Uh, out here, just uh, I'm not sure exactly where I'm at. Uh, Hover Shows is clear to fly. I'm out here in the, the boondocks. I found this uh, sort of open area, so I decided to take the Spark for a bit of a flight, check things out. So it's a little bit windy today, so we're not going to go too far, but we are going to go up and uh, you get some video and see what things look like. So I'm arming the copter and I'm going to take off here. So I put the copter in the air, as you can see. I'm going to start video recording. And again, it's a little bit windy, so I'm going to take it up. And let's see, I'm going to get some altitude on it here. And then I'm going to take it out. And explore a little bit, see what's out there. So again, Right now it's at probably about the top of the uh, wind for the spark. And uh, it's definitely gusting, so I'm going to take it up a little bit more. And I'm going to pan around. And actually I want to pan back around this way. I'm not going to go out too far again, it's pretty windy. I want to slow down my yaw. Some big farm fields out here. I'm out here in farm country. Hopefully. Uh, with this mic and everything, I'm blocking a little bit of the wind. Uh, large wind velocity, fly with caution. Yes, sir, Reedy do Bob. I am flying with caution because it is windy out here. But I want to get a little bit of flight time in. It's been a while. And I'm not sure what I'm looking at there, if that's a road or the river or something. Um, I'm up about 118 feet. I'm not out too far. I can definitely see it up there. Um, yeah, on the small screen, I can't really see too well what this is. Uh, let's maybe fly out in that direction a little bit. Whoops, I'm going in the wrong direction. That must be the road. So let me turn this thing around. I want to go around the other way. You don't have a lot of colors yet. One of the things I was looking for was colors. Um, we're here at the beginning of October, and I do have the Polar Pro, Pro filter on here, the older one, so that's one of the things we're seeing the uh, uh, a little bit of jumpiness in. And, and we take it out this way a little bit further, see what we see. I want to gimbal down a little bit. What's uh, what's uh, beneath me here a little bit? Yeah, she's still complaining about wind, which I can definitely understand. I'm a little bit nervous with this much wind. And uh, especially with that kind of altitude. So I'm taking it out. And we're just going to pan it around a little bit. Boy, I, I love the polarizing effects of that filter. How the you know the polarizer does for colors really does a nice job. It's a pretty bright day out here today, and we're just panning it around, capturing some video. Beautiful views out here today. I was hoping the uh, colors would be a little bit stronger. I've been out of town for uh, a while, so I've been kind of hoping the colors would change a little bit more here in the beginning of October, but we're still seeing a lot of green. So uh, we'll give it another week or two, and we'll come back and see if we can get a little bit more uh, colors up here. So again, we just kind of yawed it around kind of interesting you know the, a lot of the uh, farmers are out processing their fields or cultivating their fields or whatever you call it in farmer terms um, but again still complaining a, quite a bit with the wind so I want to be careful I don't want to take it too far out I'm afraid she might not come back and I'm over I think what I believe are some wetlands so I'm just kind of watching the bird here to kind of see which way I'm pointing. And uh, 
Let's see, I think I'm gonna bring her back towards me. And we're bringing her back in. You can tell it's really buffeting the wind. I got it full stick and uh, she's really pushing against that wind. Just a little bit too windy for this guy out here today, but she's, uh, she's definitely a trooper. And so let's see. Wow, I got off the stick and it jumped back about five feet. So I'm bringing it down. Again, a little bit concerned with the high wind warnings. I don't think I've seen a large wind warning. But uh, we have one here today. So we're going to bring it down. Let's, uh, let's gimbal it down. So you can sort of see where I'm at. So I'm down here, and I'm going to bring her back down. I still got a lot of battery left, but uh, that wind is really, really starting to kick up even some more. So I'm just going to bring her down and call this one a flight. And she's coming down. And you can probably hear it, like a bunch of angry bees. Boy, it's really being buffeted by the wind. Ah, we got a little lull now, so that's good. So we're going to bring it down and set it down. All right, so I'm going to save off the video. So, hey, this is another great flight, even though it's a little bit too windy for the Spark. I'd say I probably got good 20 mile an hour sustained gusts, or pretty close to gusts up to 20. At least probably 12 or so sustained. So I'll spit that out as traffic goes by. So with that, I'm going to save this off. I'm going to call it a day. Let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know if you got any comments down below. And hey, we'll see you guys in the next video, I think, if I can figure out how to shut this off. Cheers.